I hope this location is suitable for you. I can have the rest of these things removed if you'd like. Oh, no, it's great. Thank you. For years, my ancestors were forced to record the true history of our people in secret, beyond the eyes of the Goa Uld. This room now houses their legacy. It seemed appropriate you do your work here. I'm flattered. I must admit, Colonel Carter, some of my people are concerned about what this machine will do. I would like to be able to reassure them. Oh, yeah, of course. Let me walk you through it. Um, basically, this machine shifts all matter within a preset range. In this case, the entire village into another dimension. So when the prior returns, he won't be able to see or hear you. In fact, he'll be able to walk right through you. But you don't worry, it doesn't hurt at all. And it is just temporary, just long enough to fool the prior. Once he leaves, we can put everything back to normal. Remember, we're gonna be out of radio contact once we go out of phase. Understood. Listen up, folks. We're gonna try a little disappearing act here. Please remember to keep your arms and legs inside the village at all times until we come to a complete and final stop. Blank stairs work, too. Sam, light her up. Copy that. Thank you. Don't get too excited. They packed us decaf by mistake. Don't. Tilk's gone to the gate to watch for the prior. Look, I hate to rush you, Sam, but we got to make a decision about this. Landry was pretty clear we're not to let this thing fall into enemy hands. I know. I've rigged an ancient capacitor similar to the kind used in the Stargates between the device and the generators. It should collect the power and hopefully feed it more evenly. Well, that sounds great. Mitchell, do you read? Loud and clear, Teal. What's up? Our time. They're checking for the monument. Sam, we got fighters circling. How are you coming with that disappearing act? Just a few more minutes.